Hi, I'm Tony, and today we're going to learn how to do a French seam. French seams are a really cool seam that are completely enclosed with inside of your project. There's no additional need to finish off the edges, and you have no open raw edges. Today I'm going to show you how we do a French seam, finishing off a pillowcase that I made using the burrito method. Uh, so let's get to it. Step number one is we are taking our pillowcase we made using the burrito method and we are going to sew it wrong side to wrong side. Normally you sew right side to right side, but in this case, step number one, we're sewing it wrong side to wrong side. So I'll show you how that's done. So wrong side to wrong side. I want to line everything up. I'm not using any pins in order to sew it. I'm using, of course, my lead fabric that we learned how to do in our chain piecing video. There we are. And let's trim away that lead piece. Now, as I'm sewing it, I'm just lining this up just to make sure that these two fabrics line up nicely. There we are. And as I go, I'm adjusting these fabrics. And let's sew this all the way down. There we go. Now, once I get to that corner, I'm going to stop a quarter inch from the edge. Oops, let's finish lining these up. There we go. Let's stop a quarter inch from the edge. And then I'm going to lift up my presser foot and turn my fabric. And then put the presser foot back down again. And then lining these fabrics up again. So as I go and as I move, making sure everything is lined up. Now you may notice I have a hand back here with my finger. All I'm doing is making sure that my fabric stays straight as it's going through because I'm using my quarter inch foot with guide to make sure I'm sewing a perfect quarter inch every single time. So we're sewing this down. And then when I get to the end, all I'm going to do is put in my scrap fabric and then free it. The next step, I'm going to trim so I'm trimming this fabric and I'm, I'm trimming it so it's an eighth of an inch. This is a very, very important step. Do not skip this. If you skip this, all of this seam will be able to be seen trapped within your French seam. So trim this all the way down so that you have an eighth of an inch showing. Okay, that is the important part. And you're doing this all the way around your entire pillowcase. When you get to this corner here, you're actually going to trim it at an angle. And this is going to help with bulk for the next step whenever we flip it. Okay, we have done step number one. So we've sewn it wrong side to wrong side and trimmed away and cut down I use my uh, Femore scissors uh, in order so we only have an eighth of an inch from our seam, all right? Next up, we want to take our pillowcase, we want to flip this inside out. This is the first time that we have flipped this inside out, and let's poke these corners out. And now I want to iron these seams, so I want to iron this seam here and this seam here. I like to iron it by using my fingers because I have fingernails. I take my fingernails and I actually run it across the seam, pulling it out as I'm ironing it. If you do this, don't iron your hand. It hurts. <laughs> don't iron your hand. Uh, you can also use other things such as I like the uh, By Annie stiletto and poke. You can use that. Uh, you could also use your purple thing, which I have misplaced mine, of course. Uh, so you can use your purple thing to poke it out. Um, there's all sorts of things you can use to poke them out. 
But once you're poking them out as you're moving, make sure that you're ironing this. If you skip this step, you're gonna get bulks and, and bunches and, and you don't wanna do that. Trust me, iron this, okay? So once this is ironed, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna sew this at a quarter inch seam all the way down. So my pillowcase is all ironed. So you take your seam, make sure that's nice and ironed. Now let's go ahead and sew it one more time. Now, whenever I sew it, I am using my lead, although this is going to be an open edge here. So I wanna make sure that I seal this open edge and really reinforce that. Okay, and let's trim our scrap fabric. Perfect. And then now I'm just going to sew down. So we're sewing it all the way down. When I reach the corner, I'm doing the same thing I did before. I am stopping about a quarter inch from the edge and then I'm turning my pillowcase, or in your case, whatever you are using your French seam on, and then continuing to sew it the other way. Now, you do not need to sew this quickly. I'm just going this fast, just to get through to show you what we're doing. Now, here's the thing, whenever we get to the edge, whenever we get to the edge, camera malfunction, uh, normally, Tutorials will have you do a back stitch right here. I do mine a little bit differently. So we're gonna actually turn this one more time and I'm gonna back stitch it going this direction. I find whenever I do that, it actually puts less strain on the seam and it actually makes it a little bit stronger in the corner. So by turning it and having it go this way with your back stitch, I like it better. All right. Ready for our last step, step number three of the French seam? It's an easy one. Step number three, turn the pillowcase inside out so that now it's the right side out. All right, so let's do this. Let's see how this works. Now, you can iron this or not iron it. It is completely up to you, uh, but our seams, what we just sewed, that is a perfect French seam. You have nothing sticking out. There's no raw edges here. It is gonna be able to be washed and not have any problems. When you take your pillow in and out, you're not rubbing against those seams. It is a pillowcase. Oops, I didn't flip that in and that's that all out. There we go. There is our pillowcase. Now, you can use French seams on all sorts of things. You can use French seams on clothing, uh, you can use it on uh, bags, on whatever you want to use a French seam on. The thing that you need to keep in mind when using a French seam is try not to have any stabilizer or additional material when you're doing step number one, when you're doing the right side to right side, because you're sewing it twice, if you add any extra things in there like stabilizer or, um, or, or applique paper or anything else, you're adding extra bulk into that seam. So it's not a good idea. If you need to use stabilizer or something else for your project, do it after you've made your French seam. Because uh, the whole point of the French seam is just to hide those edges so you don't have to use a serger or other things. So hopefully you've learned something today. You've learned how to use a French seam. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video, follow my YouTube, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget about Twitch, where you can sew with me and ask me questions while I'm sewing live.